and we're going to see what Chef Scott can pull off today in the kitchen. Katie joining Chef Scott from Penzone's Italian Village. And within the village, you have a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Tell us about this one where you're making this recipe from. Right, uh, Isabella's. We've been working real hard past year or so to get it open up. And uh, basically on the on De La Mar side, of the property is uh, Isabella's, our new steakhouse. Okay, so totally different menu mm -hmm, mm -hmm. from Penzones. Great food, both restaurants, and there's also a wine bar, there's a deli. Mm -hmm. But let's talk about what you're making today and what we're going to need to make it. Uh, the influence, uh, the flavor's influence on the menu is going to be south of France, northern Italy, mm -hmm. and um, uh, we're actually going to do a um, gastrique, which is a, um, it's like a caramelized sugar sauce that uh, kind of a takeoff of an agrodolce. It's kind of weird, but uh, but uh, it's very, very classic, very good. It sounds interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what do we have here? Uh, we're gonna, uh, just going to do some sugar here. Okay. And the recipe's on the on the web page there. You can follow that. Yeah, Studio 10 page, fox10tv.com. And basically, we're, we're just caramelizing the sugar here. Mm. And that's just going to caramelize a little bit. Okay, so stir for a minute or so? Yeah, until it's going to get a little brown. Okay. I'll turn it up a little bit. Uh, my advice when you, if, if you're cooking this at home, if you have a flame burner, mm -hmm. uh, when you add the uh, liqueur, turn the flame off uh -huh. because, yeah. Yeah. Howie. It'd be man, exciting. <laughs> <laughs> a little too exciting. Meanwhile, uh, speaking of sugar, while this is browning, you have a new pastry chef at Penzone, so some new desserts. We do. Uh, Carla is fantastic. Uh, very creative, and uh, we, 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 she and I have been talking a lot about the flavors and what we want to do. Uh, but she's like a limoncello cheesecake, which has been huge. And we're trying to decide on do we do a creme brulee or do a cheesecake mm. for Isabella, so we decided to do a creme brulee cheesecake. So oh. we actually yeah, caramelize the top of the... Uh, Cheesecake. This it's, sounds it's fantastic. Awesome. What do we make? Days are always yeah. fun. <laughs> have to make this. Everyone, everyone, yeah. everyone comes to the kitchen immediately when they I see bet. her walking yeah. with her newest. Uh, she has yeah. tiramisu mousse and panna cotta. She does all kind of stuff. Yeah, sounds good. Having so you fun. have good dinner. Then of course you can't skip dessert with the new pastry chef. Right. Uh, we're going to, uh, as you see, it's starting to, to, to bubble a little bit. Uh -huh. uh, this will probably actually take, take a few minutes, but okay. what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this, uh, this sham board here. I'm standing back. Okay. <laughs> right. We're backing up. <laughs> now, if, if the sugar gets really tight on you, uh, it, when you add a cold liquid to it, it's going to seize up, and you'll have to just lower the heat down a little bit. It's a little technical, but, but you can smell it. Mm -hmm. smell, smell the raspberry in there? Yeah. That's great. That yeah. smells phenomenal. Now, we're going to add this raspberry puree. And then we're going to just let this reduce for a little bit. Yeah, that smells great. Did you get on that? Yes, it does. Wow. But it's going to reduce like a, like a syrup, almost. And you're making the quail today, but this mm -hmm. is something maybe you could put it on chicken as well? Absolutely. Like I said, this is a classic from a, actually a duck l'orange, where they would actually take an orange a juice and make a gastric with orange and serve it with duck, which you can do with turkey, you can do it with chicken, um, anything, like a fowl. I mean, any side. Okay. So about how much longer do you need to have it stove top? Just, uh, just a few more minutes, so it's, just to get some consistency. It's practically done right now. We're just going to let the, um, just let it reduce down a little bit, get the right thickness, but the flavors are there, so we can use it. It smells great. Make sure you get this recipe, fox10tv.com. That's all on the Studio 10 page. We'll start working on the quail when we come back. That last segment made me want to go to the bathroom. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Sometimes I just say something inappropriate. We're in the kitchen with the folks from Pinzone's Italian Village. This is Scott and Katie. What are we working on today? <laughs> well, I don't know how to follow that. But, I know. Uh, yeah, what a welcome. Right. Thank all right. you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We are anyway, working if you're on, still yeah. hungry, yes. uh, we have a great, uh, actually we've taken the, the quail and we've stuffed it with some artichokes, seasoned it really good. And we're going to brown it off a little bit and then we'll finish it off in the oven. All right, sounds like a plan. Now, you said you seasoned it a little bit. What did we season it with again? Uh, I like to just use like a little bit of garlic pepper, mm -hmm. a little bit of a, a cracked pepper, and a little bit of a sea salt. All right, sounds good. Lots going on at Pizzone's coming up. We mentioned this is October. We're in pink for breast cancer awareness. You've got an interesting themed event coming up this month. Tell us about that, Katie. Yes, um, for the whole month of October, we are having Save the Frittatas. Ah. And uh, you can create your own frittata for uh, no extra charge for the whole month of October. Um, and the whole city of Fairhope is actually doing Paint the Town Pink. Okay. Um, so pretty much all of the downtown merchants will really be on board for the whole month. Um, 
doing different specials and things like that. Very cool. Anything we can do to help get the word out, eventually raise more money, raise more research, or do more research, and help out would be fantastic. Now that smells really good once yes, it got it in there. Thank you. Um, I'll tell you, we were saying earlier about doing a little plastic twist on, um, on French. We're having so much fun at Isabella's. I mean, the, the, the creativity, um, the, the staff that we have on hand, we're really, everybody's excited, feeding off each other, and they're like, hey, what about this? What about that? You know, and that creative, you know, we'll, we'll do that. We, we talked about doing the, the duck, and I said, well, no, let's do quail instead. And you know, it's, just, it's just a lot of fun. I really, really, the, the feedback's been fantastic, and really just invite you to come out and try it. That is awesome, and I, I'm a real big fan of creative environments. I always mm -hmm. think that's when the best kind of work comes out, whatever you're doing, and food would definitely be no exception to that. Always trying something new, trying to mix and match, come up with some great dishes, and this is one of those that we're looking at there. So, how long should the folks, if they're trying to do something like this at home, how long do they need to cook quail? How do you cook quail as opposed to chicken or something like that? Quail is actually considered a fowl, so it doesn't have to be cooked, overcooked like you would like chicken. I mean, chicken you have to cook at 165 degrees. This actually be served like, almost like medium rare. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, good tip. So we're going to continue to work on that. We've got the uh, raspberry topping that's mm -hmm. right yep. here. And um, if you're curious, we had discussed earlier whether we are technically south of France, and we are. Everything south of New York, we learned, <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. is south of France in relation to North America. So there you go. A fun fact for you this morning, some great food for you this morning, and some inappropriate comments earlier to start the cooking segment, guys. <laughs> Welcome back to our kitchen here on Studio 10. It's nice of you to join us this morning. We have Scott and Katie in the kitchen with us from Penzone's Italian Downtown Village. Now, the recipe that you're making today is from your new restaurant right. within the village. Correct, yes. Uh, Penzone Italian Village is started off Penzone Italian Downtown, our restaurant. Uh -huh. and that's still there and it's doing great. Uh, as you walk through the, um, the, the courtyard, you'll pass our wine bar, you'll see our deli, and then on the other end, which is on the Delamar side, uh, is Isabella's, which opened last uh -huh. week. Okay, totally different menu. Yep. Food equally is fantastic. Yep. So either one you choose. New pastry chef too, so new desserts. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, the limoncello cheesecake, the uh, tiramisu mousse, yeah, that's some great. panna cotta. Oh, it all sounds good. Yeah. And something else we don't want to forget to mention: Thursday night is Ladies' Night. Right. And it's every gonna, Thursday, mm -hmm. um, and it's half price wine, liquor, and beer, and it's in Penn Zone's wine bar. And, um, and then the deli is where you get your boar's head meats and cheeses. And Isabella's, um, now that it's open, it's open Wednesday through Saturday night from 5 o'clock till close. And, um, and you can call for reservations. Right now we're using Penn Zone's number, which is 990-5535. Okay. And um, you can get that on y'all's website, I'm yeah. sure. Um, but yeah, Wednesday through Saturday. And we also have a Facebook for Isabella's. So if you want to keep up with Isabella's happenings, you can um, like us on Facebook. Yeah. And, uh, and also Penn Zone's Italian Downtown and keep up with what is going on. We're about to start having music Thursday through Sunday now. Uh -huh. Thursday for ladies night, Friday and Saturday, and then Sunday for our Bellini brunch, which is 11 to 3. Man, you have a lot going on. See, I need to go on Facebook to find out what I'm doing. To keep up with everything. Well, today yeah. we know that you're making something that has smelled so wonderful yeah. this whole time. That sauce smells so good. So. Yeah, and you can see it got really kind of kind of thickened up there. Mm -hmm. So that, that's what you're looking for right there. So we're going to put this a little bit on the plate. Okay. Now, this is actually an appetizer, but like I said, you can do this if you want for a um, for an entree or whatever you like. Mm. And if you're not a quail person, you want to do some chicken or turkey, mm -hmm. Scott mm -hmm. said that would be perfectly fine too. I even said maybe you can put that sauce on ice cream, it smells so mm, good. Yeah, yeah we, we always uh, close the night off with a little um, coconut milk ice cream mm -hmm. and put that on there and that'd be great. Oh, you're right. That sounds good. So I'll probably do that tonight. Look how, <laughs> <laughs> Look how pretty that is. Yep. So appetizer at Penzones. Mm -hmm. We have the recipe on fox10tv.com. Studio 10 page. You can make this at home. I'm sorry, Isabella's mm -hmm. at, in Penzones Italian Village. <laughs> Are you confused yet? <laughs> Don't worry. We have it all laid out for you on our website. So check it out and check out that finished dish. Very, very pretty. We'll be back right after this.